Welcome to the Fox 5, the series that explores the world of Fox rehabilitation through an original list created by a Fox colleague. Today, I am joined by former Fox occupational therapist, Diane Jezik. Diane, welcome. Hi. Hi, Fox. <laughs> now, some people may be wondering, former Fox occupational therapist, well, Diane recently retired. That's why you're former. Hey. I did. I was an occupational therapist for 30 years. And I want to say, I want to say you went out like a baller <laughs> because you went out being our colleague of the month. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. What a way to go out. So, but Diane, I thought it would be interesting having you on the Fox 5 because, you know, a lot of times we talk about people just starting out with Fox. I want to hear the story from the other end. So <laughs> you worked with Fox Rehabilitation. Your colleagues loved you. You were colleague of the month, your last month here. So I want to know, what is your Fox 5? <laughs> My Fox 5 are the five things that I miss most about Fox Rehab. All right, looking back. So <laughs> let's start with number one. What do you miss most? Number one was my team. I was a rehab director um, at an ALF for an FOL program, and I had the most awesome team. So you just, that you is, just shouted out a lot of acronyms right there. I, I did. ALF, Assisted Living Facility, FOL, Fox Optimal Living. Yes. And I saw um, these pictures often because you would send the pictures to me, and it seemed like you had a really tight unit there. We had the best team. We had so much fun with each other. There was so much respect. We're always bouncing ideas, working together. If someone's having a problem with something. We work together at it. It was just the best team. I couldn't ask for a better team. Do you still stay in contact with your team? I do. I do. We've gone out to dinner once. We already have our second date planned. That's good. <laughs> and yes. you're going to a lot of concerts now that you're retired. You should bring some of them to your concerts. <laughs> I'm going to concerts and I'm golfing. I don't <laughs> take them. Take them to see sticks. Oh, love them. <laughs> love them. <laughs> All right. So, Diane, what is number two on your Fox Five? Number two on my Fox Five are actually the patients and the residents at the ALF. When you're working in an FOL program, which is very unique from a lot of other rehabs, um, you become a family. And you can see things, you you know how people are working, and then you're kind of going, hmm, that one's not looking that good today, or this one's not using their walker and they're supposed to, or you just can pick out, like, oh, they're getting a little bit more confused in the dining room. You know, I really love that uh, aspect of box rehab. Um, like I being, being on top of it, working as a being team? Being on top of it, being proactive, you know, um, seeing things. They all knew that we were there for them. And I will say the comments that we often got was, one, I'm alive because of Fox Rehab. And two, they're living at the ALF, that specific ALF, because of Fox Rehab. So those are two major things that really make your work feel like that your job is, is really beneficial. I love that. Yeah, that's our yeah. motto. Be stronger, live better longer. Yes, yes. So it's it's nice to see that it was put into action. It's put into action every day, but it's nice to hear it. Yeah. Oh, it was great. All right. So, Diane, that brings us to number three on your Fox All Five. All right. Number three, I would have to say our Fox gathering. So it wasn't just like just my my team at the ALF, but like my regional director would organize these events after work that some all the local like the southern yes. team would get together and it got us to really know each other and be able to reach out to each other and i thought that was huge because if we were you know someone was on vacation or we were low or we were actually overflow we can contact other people there were times where i was the only ot in the building and I could reach out to other OTs with OT related questions so and feel comfortable about it because I've already met them. That's why so, those those after hour get togethers are so important. Yes. Because it's, it's great to hang out. It's great to like establish those friendships. But you can also use these friendships as resources. Yes. And that's huge. So I really miss that. 
All right. Well, hopefully they still pick your brain. Hopefully, hopefully they still invite <laughs> you. If they, if they don't, you let me know. You know, I got a lot of phone calls um, okay. and texts after I left. Like, with questions, right. so <laughs> I, I feel like you should still be invited to these because they could use you as a resource. Although I should point out that you are retired. <laughs> yes. So don't use Diane too much as a resource. Give her like <laughs> space to breathe. All right. That brings us to number four on your Fox Five. Okay. Number four, I would have to say the management team. This the management team, yes, they by doing the you know, the face to face, you feel you really feel like you get to know upper management. I, I actually felt comfortable reaching out when I had a question and I talked to like my regional director or, you know, and he had said, yeah, reach out to, you know, he'd give me the name of the person right. and I'd reach out and they always made you feel welcome to reaching out and stuff. And I, I have to say total surprise, but my last week, I got a call from Lisa McDonald and then Brian Fischetti. And I was just like, whoa, like, who does that? Like, it made me feel really good. I, I don't think enough people realize that our leadership team, and I say this with the truest sincerity, they care. So if you they ever have any, any type of problem, big or small, there's always, always somebody to talk to. And that's what yep. I love, love, love about our leadership team. And you spoke about Brian Fuzetti. Did you know he's one of my BFFs in life? Oh, no, I did not know that. Solid, solid person. So <laughs> I love I love your number four because it's so true. Our leadership team is solid and people need to know that. And that's that huge because it starts at the top and trickles down. Yes. So, you know, if they're making you feel important. You know, it makes a lot. Because the big, the biggest tragedy, I think, is if someone would leave. And I'm like, no, no, no. If you have a problem, talk it out. Like, we'll fix that problem. Yes. All right. So that brings us to number five. So this this might sound a um, little odd, but actually Medbridge, because I think that's a huge benefit um, from Fox. Break it down. Break it down for everyone. For those not familiar with Medbridge. Okay. So Medbridge um, has continuing education. and Fox covers the cost of that. And there's so much that you can choose from. I'm keeping up my license. So, but now I'm like, oh, I have to pay for it myself. <laughs> you know? I think it just, it, it makes it really good because it's online learning. You can go on whenever you want. You don't have to finish it that, that particular time. You can go back and, and it's just great. And, you know, I, I've used that a lot. I love, and I thought actually, to be honest, like the, presenters on there were very good it's a nice it's a nice perk it's an it's a huge perk huge yes perk. huge perk. yes not just yes. a nice a nice and a huge perk <laughs> yes. all right so diane thank you for doing this fox five you're welcome uh, be honest when i called you you now being retired were you like oh, they keep bugging me they keep wanting me to work <laughs> <laughs> did you did you mind doing this? I did not mind doing this all right, at good, all. Good. All no. right. <laughs> Maybe we'll have you back like top five things you enjoy about retirement. Oh, yes, I got those. <laughs> okay, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll save that for another day. So for Diane Jezik, my name is Jim Shear, and we will see Yens later. Thanks, Fox.